Right, I don't know if you can see very well. And this is something I wouldn't normally do, but it's just so I can raise awareness for some people who keep spiders. You may find sometimes your adults start to struggle getting themselves out of their old exoskeleton, as I noticed with Jennifer here yesterday. Now, I've not touched her. She's been like this for 24 hours now. So, I had to start intervening this morning. Now, the way I do it, I don't touch her. Well, I have some plain distilled water in a syringe. And I just gently drip it. I'm not going to do it now, because I did some before. Just on top of the legs. So then as she vibrates her legs, the water can run down in between her hairs. Which will hopefully help her make it a little bit easier to get her legs out. So then she shouldn't lose any. Hopefully. Um, but I will be back in in a bit. Just to check on her to make sure she's okay. Because uh, the last thing I want is to lose her. She is a lovely spider. But anyway, I hope this has helped a few of you all. Now, when I said I won't actually do it, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you what I'd demonstrate. I'd put the syringe over the top and just gently drip water onto her hairs so it runs down. Now, the reason I use distilled water is because if you was to use cold water, it would actually shock her. And I don't want to do that. So with it being distilled, room temperature water doesn't scare her as much. So I hope this has been a little insight vi video for you all. Um, I will give you a little follow up to let you know how Jennifer's doing. But in the meantime, that's all it is for now. Bye people. I hope this has been good for you. I hope this helps some of you new people who are just getting into your spiders. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I love my teas. This girl molted about two weeks ago. Just giving her another week before I feed her. As you can see her old skin there at the back. <clears throat> um, I've had a few actually do some molts that I didn't expect. Anyway, bye for now all.